Okay. I tried to do this a couple times. <clears throat> but the thing is, it's like, I just learn something every time I stop recording that I wish I said. And I'm hoping it will all come together in this one. It hasn't been that many times though, so like I, I'll get over it. I'm fine. All right, salty. Yes. Sweet. Mm. Doesn't feel like it right now. A lot is being filtered, but like it's all not filtered. So it's like the I'm sorry, not sorry type thing. It's like, sorry, not sorry. That's you. Cycles are ending we come, as we come to the last sign. The elder. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> the unfiltered magic. No one gets through unscathed. So now that things are frozen, or things that have been frozen, the crystallization that's happening, there's a creak in this desk, desk which is funny. We're moving through a time where, <laughs> I was just gonna say death and the Scorpio card comes out. Death card comes out. Where the magic happens. So, Hmm. A lot of death, but still a lot to live for. This is the Phoenix. This is very Scorpio. We're going to use it. It works, of course. It's the cards that come out. That's why I reshuffled for each time because I'm not going to just lay out the cards for you. They'll say what they need to say. So, also, that something about also like trusting that how you respond right now naturally is important. It's of course important to think about some things, especially because the way that you're the alignment between what you're thinking about and how you're feeling and where that takes you is a huge part of this process for you right now. It's important to be really clear. Water knows no bounds, but right now, boundaries are good. But what do they look like now? Now that you're deciding to really take this death thing a whole lot further, Death of cycles, ends of cycles, to make new ones create, or is really powerful. You realize that, and we realize in Pisces season how just because something's dead it doesn't mean it's gone. Like, I don't like that expression, like, they're gone, like, now they died, but they're not gone. Nothing's really gone, is it? Hmm. The strength is in your vision. Where does your vision come from? This full moon, the Virgo full moon coming up is huge. The new moon is going to be a very powerful thing for you too. Um, especially you because it's your new moon and it's just showing you like just like how the hermit takes the light through the dark, the moon does that too. It's the same thing, but the moon is like not a person. The insight that you gain this month is a culmination of what's been going on with you for a while. The questions that you couldn't seem to form before become easier. To form maybe not to answer right away maybe the first step of the question but the 
the full formation of the questions that you've been kind of looking for. I feel like he keeps me here. That's got funky eyes. It's funny the lights like make your eyes look like a fish sometimes. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, so the strength that you have acquired to see this through is incredible. And you are going to It may not feel like it because it's your season, so it's a lot in your season. And even though, like, you are so you in your season, it's still your season. You know what I mean? So it's still a time of, like, you might, you're going to be celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday. And it's, like, the celebration sometimes is tears. Or laughing at things that, like, mm, some other people might not laugh about. You know? Your jokes are the best. I literally have... I wrote down a quote from a friend, a dear friend, who is a Pisces. Um, I remember we were just like talking, catching up one day and she was like, well, I haven't killed myself yet. <laughs> okay, you're only going to get that. If you really get the personality of a Pisces. Yeah, actually, this is plenty. Bottom of the deck is Knight of Wands. I think that's important for me to show you because we have the King of Wands and right underneath is the Three of Wands. So you're seeing something and you're going to continue to see this thing, this idea. So Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces is like the architect for me. You're the one who creates brings form to the idea, brings the emotion to the idea, brings a lot to the idea. The boundaries are created by what, how you're deciding to move now. There's a lot of freedom for you, that's strength. That's a strength that you have. Aries coming right after you, beautiful. Beautiful. You're going to gain more energy. Right now, we're a little tired. It's cold. It's cold to be filtering the unfiltered. It's cold to be unfiltering what has been filtered. That doesn't mean... Sometimes the filters that have been created are the trash. You're kind of just setting it all free now and you have the strength to do so. And you have a lot of power on your side. If there is a Scorpio person in your life, um, it looks like you're headed in similar directions. You also... Yeah, there's this unspoken thing. There's this unspoken thing that's happening with you too. Um, it doesn't have to be just romantic. And it could be like the just what from Scorpio season till now you're like, oh, cool. I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I see that. Whatever it is. Yeah, this is amazing. I'm glad. I'm really glad this happened. The other thing I want to make the connection with the Leo about is sometimes when I think of Leos and how they're ruled by the sun and then the sun is ruled by the heart. And Leos are known for their strong hearts. I'd say you are too. So... What I picture sometimes is like the healing of the heart is like the cracks, the trauma, those delicate pieces that need to see the light in order to be healed. Those are some of many quotes that we hear, many things that we hear, but like the way I see it 
is when I picture my heart and like light streaming through it. Like it has pores like the skin and that's what's healing whatever is happening. I picture that sometimes and sometimes I do it with water. Like my tears literally do heal my heart. <laughs> so I am a Harry Potter fan and I was just watching those movies recently again. And in one of, I think it's the sixth movie, sixth, seventh, sixth, fifth or sixth, there's a phoenix specifically in it. Or is it the second? Okay, I'm sorry, now I'm confusing. It's in one of the movies and the tears of the phoenix heals wounds. The heart, that light, that love, that feeling that I was talking about, like the, the healing that happens, the salt water that heals like the ocean does, it's like the moon. Like how I related it to the hermit, the moon's in the dark, just like the hermit holds the lantern. The moon is also, it's like you, it's like it sometimes looks cold. You can see the moon and, like it has like more of a glow that's coming through it and it's not a warm shine. It's more of a colder shine. It's that winter. It's that bluish color. That's you. So that is now shooting out of every pore. Seen so much that sometimes it can be blinding. It's kind of like this light right now with me. And that's what the sun does sometimes, right? So some people will be blinded by your love because of how much it, your emotional intelligence, all of that, everything's oozing out, everything's coming out, how no, every curtain's being pulled back for everyone. And you see it all. So it's, some people just aren't going to be able to see you right now, literally and metaphorically. But you have the strength to understand that you know where you're at and you want to see things through and you have the power to. The cool thing about what's happening, I think, is cool. With the water, it could be frustrating too, so I don't want to say that it's not that. With the water signs and the fire signs right now is that they're being asked to think more. So your emotions and your action are a part of your intuition. It's a part of your, a part of what makes you you. A water sign, a water sign, a fire sign, a fire sign. It's a part of them, it's a part of you, reaction. Now that there's being, so that crystallization, that filtering and unfiltering, talking about, um, All the air and heavy earth is building the structure for you to. So everyone has like a very specific and special role right now. And I think it's really cool how it's all coming together. And for you, well, how I see it and how I see this is you're really creating space for you to just like narrow the focus, but it's going to spread. It's just going to spread in the next few years, especially. And what's happening is freedom, the strength in freedom, how you know that there's all these different sides, all these different realms, Neptune very very Neptune. So those dreamy dreamy days, like a dream, you know how dreams just don't make sense but they make sense. That's what's happening. You're creating the big picture, but you have to focus on one thing at a time. And then the big picture, eventually you're gonna be like, whoa, the whole picture is here. 
Also, I'll show you when we look at the cards because it will make more sense. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait for that one. Okay. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, information is below. We'll look at the cards. Happy birthday. I love you very much. Hi, Pisces. So, um, I think or I see is the amount of discipline it takes to feel, see, face, the power of the feminine and the authority of the masculine and the rebirthing process and how strong, safe the masculine must become to the feminine as the feminine begins to reform and change. Regardless of how you identify it's about the feeling of feminine and masculine, that sense. And that's what I wanted to show you. It's how they're both facing away, yet death is, the rebirth is forward. It's what's next. It's what some more masculine and even in men can sometimes be afraid of. Though the cycles that women and feminine beings go through is the cycle and the process of rebirth every month with the moon, which is Pisces, again, the moon. This very clear view of and being the elder and seeing it all and feeling it all and having to, and wondering if you're seeing it right or doing, you know, you're not doing things the same way uh, for the most part. You do, are depending on who you are and depending on where you're at in your life. So another thing is that one, a Pisces, um, actually a reader, a Pisces reader once said to me, he, that Pisces either sink or swim in this life. And that's very extreme, but I understand it. I do. And the strength that you now see, look how bright that is. Like, look at all that yellow. And look how, like, it's kind of weirdly goes together. It's very interesting because it's very almost uniform is the word I want to use for a Pisces. But it's more of just, like, the representation of how clear you're becoming. The unfiltered, filtered... <laughs> And to know that just because it looks messy to other people, you actually, like, that's clear for you. It's like, oh, no, I get this. I feel this. I see this. And the strength it takes to carry it through in airy season is coming. The Knight of Wands I thought was really important, too, because you have this... Um, there's this this heat there's this heat that you by leo season as well you're going to you may even see start to see results of where you started from airy season from now the courage and strength everything it takes, you get, you know that once you move the heavy though, you get to just go and flow. And still, of course, learn along the way, but it's this very cool, um, it's 
very, it's just very interesting. The compassion as well and the courage that it takes to have all of that. Um, also Leo Aries, if there's a Leo or Aries in your life, it's beneficial, extremely beneficial for where you're going. If this is about ego though, just be careful. We all need ego, it's not about that. It's like, just be careful if, either, if you're noticing it on either side in a way that can't be playful or use it as a strength. You know? So. Here's the view. There's so much more, but, and you it'll, it just make, it'll make sense to you in a month. So continue to focus on what's being revealed to you. It's pretty cool. It's pretty magical, just like you. <laughs> I love you very much and we'll see you next month. Happy, happy birthday.